What up, friends? It's your boy, Junge, and we're back with another video. I'm a music producer from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I'm currently living in my van full-time in Las Vegas, Nevada. A little-known fact about me is that I love country music. Even though I primarily make pop music and EDM, country music is what I'm putting on if I'm going for a drive or just hanging out. And today, in Henderson, Nevada, which is like 10 minutes away from where I am now, there is a free country concert. It goes from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's in a park somewhere in Henderson, and the headliner is Chris Lane. Chris Lane is one of my favorites. He's got some banger songs. We're gonna go to the park and check that out. In the meantime, I thought it would be really cool to make a country song. Now I've messed around with this before, but it's not really something that I normally do. So we're just gonna go through the process and see how it turns out. All right, so in order to get this song started, we're gonna start out with three samples. The first one is what we call pedal steel. Very country, sounds like this. The next one gotta have is a banjo. Let's see what we got here. So just a nice little simple banjo riff. And then in the interest of time, I grabbed the acoustic rhythm guitar sample. And these all came from Splice, which is a royalty free site that a lot of producers use. So we can alter these in any way we want. We can use them however we want and we can make a song. Now, since these three different samples are not related in any way, they don't really match up. So we have to make them match up. We have to make the tempos and the keys work together. All right, so the guitar is at a good tempo for me, 124. So we're gonna stick with that. Um, I do wanna drop it down right now. It's in D sharp. So we're gonna drop it down just a half step to D. Now we're gonna make the banjo work. So right now the tempo is at 100. We gotta get it to 124. So. Okay. Now the steel guitar as far as tempo is kind of abstract. So we don't really need to match that up. We kind of just want to fit it in where it works the best, but we do have to mess with the key of it. Okay, so that's definitely too high. That works. All right, so now we have all of our samples matched up. They work well together. Now it's time to build a song around them. So you obviously have your regular drum beat, but they'll usually add a lot of different sounds to give it more of that pop feel. It's getting a little hot in here. Started the morning off beautiful, but the sun has since amped it up a little bit and it's starting to heat up. All right, so I think what I wanna do is start off real strong, basically do the same instrumental that we would have in the chorus and then bring it down a little bit and then bring it back up for the chorus. So kind of create some dynamics. So I think we're gonna do halftime. So I got the snares kind of spaced out here. We got this. Woo, should have started earlier. All right, so I added some stuff to the drums. This is what we got. So I definitely think it's simple enough, but it has enough elements to make it a little poppy, keep it a little country. So I think it's gonna work. All right, so we got a piano here. I mapped out some of the chords to match up with the guitar sample that we have. So it sound, sounds like this. So we'll be able to keep that as a piano or change it into an organ, kind of do whatever we want. Uh, and then we can also pull those chords down to the bass, grab the bass line, and then we got our bass. So for the verse, I'm thinking we switch the rhythm up a little bit and we just do four on the floor, which is just quarter note kick drums all the way through. And we'll kind of make it a little bit softer uh, and then we'll bring it back up to what we have for the beginning and we'll make that the chorus. So this week is the first week that it's supposed to get above 95 here in Vegas. I'm a little nervous because when it was like low 80s outside, got to be like 115 inside the van. So I can't imagine what it's gonna get to when we start hitting triple digits outside. All right, y'all. So it was just getting way too hot in the van. The computer was starting to heat up. I was doing a lot with the computer, trying to record the screen, the audio, actually trying to make the song. I had to take a break. I was getting very frustrated, but now it's a little bit before 1230 and I was able to go grab some lunch and cool off a little bit and I'm feeling good. I'm in a better mood. And I actually just heard on the radio that even though the event started at 10, uh, they're just getting ready to kick off the performances. So 
I'm thinking we head over there now, check it out, see what's going on. Once we got the computer a little bit cooled off, we start back up, we figure out where we left off, and we try it again. But for now, let's go listen to some country music. I'll make sure we get that sunscreen on. It's a hot one out here. Sunburn in a really hot van. Can't imagine that would be a fun time. back at the van i came back for a minute just to refill my water reapply some sunscreen just listen to priscilla block she was awesome so i knew about her because she has a couple songs on the radio the one big one is just about over you you probably know it. everybody knows it. if you like country music you know this song right now it's really good so that was really the only one i knew from her she's got bangers though so good such a great songwriter very talented so check her out but we're back at the van now Gonna head back to the park. Chris Lane's coming on. Should be coming on in the next half hour or so. I had a really good seat. It was right by the front of house tent, so I was getting some shade. I probably won't have that seat anymore, so it was more important that I refilled my water. So back of the van, gonna do that. We're gonna head back to the park. 95.5 the board, put your hands together. Make a loud hand to welcome from Big Loud recording artist Chris Lane. All right, y'all we are back it is the next day it's supposed to get hotter today than it was yesterday so we got to move quick here i'm not really sure why i'm getting a beam of light coming down on me but it looks kind of kind of cool i don't normally get that so all right so the show was awesome i never saw chris lane live before so he absolutely crushed it played all the hits it was a great time aside from the heat obviously but there's not much we could do about that but overall great day had a lot of fun glad i was able to do it now we're back, we got the song. All right, so we have our chorus, which was halftime, sounds like this. Four on the floor quarter notes for the verse. Sounds like this. Basically what I did is I just took a lot of the elements from the intro out and I put a filter on the acoustic guitar and automated it so it kind of fades out and then swells back in. So that's pretty much it guys. I didn't want to do a whole lot with this song because I don't really do country music. I just thought it would be a cool idea to mess around with just because I was going to the show. So I thought it'd be fun. I think it turned out pretty cool. Usually when I'm making an original song, I don't like to use samples that are that involved, like the acoustic guitar, just because I like to make it as unique as possible, and that's tough to do with a sample like that. But this worked for today. We got it done. We got an intro, a verse, a chorus, and I like how it turned out. So let me know in the comments if you liked how it sounded. Maybe I'll put a little bit more work into it. Maybe I'll finish it up. Either way, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So... Hopefully we can do it. I know it's a pretty lofty goal. I'm at like 360 right now. I think we can get it done. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you're also heading over to my Instagram to follow me there so you can keep up with me in real time. All right, y'all. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.